All right, time to do another draft. First of all, apologies to the um, background noise that I'm sure that is there. Uh, second of all, we have a dismember. So, knowing that dismember is in this pack and that we're taking it, let's look at the rest of it. We got fresh meat, which could be pretty good if um, laid out correctly. Don't know how good it is to be honest, so I'm not gonna first pick it when uh, there's clearly a good card here. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. So let's see. Probably the next thing that's gonna go is this or this. Maybe the. Um, I really don't know what's going to table, so this we'll just have to see. We have a dismember, so that's good. That's good. Um, along with black but red. Tormentor Exarch. Uh, effectively this red uh, skin render. I mean, obviously it's not skin render, but it's, uh, Pretty much can render for red. So I'm going to go ahead and take that and move on. I think. And he's removal. Two fawns are always good. Um, if he was not there, I think. Well, what, what are our options are there? There's this guy, and then there's, of course, this guy. Um, don't know if we're in fact yet or not. <clears throat> so, I mean, another option could be the pit thriller, but minus two is a lot more significant than minus one. I think I'm just going to take this. Alright, uh, here we have a couple options. We have the blind zealot, grim affliction, and porcelain legionnaire. Um, I think I gotta give the nod to the dude. Yes, it does get blocked by artifacts, but that requires them to keep back their, their good artifact in order to keep their best dude on the board. Plus, of course, that dude is black. Um, he's been a fine fine card for me. The reflection is also a, a decent card to uh, take, but. I'm just going to take value cards. Alright, so here's our first pick that is uh, not so great. There's really nothing here that is relevant to us. Um, we really don't know what direction we're going if we're in fact or not yet. I am blighted agent is pretty insane um, with the right equipment or you know, an unexpected pump spell. Um, you could still end up that right. I mean, this can go in and affect that. So, we'll go ahead and take it. Um, okay. Couple of different options we can go here. Continue the blue infect route. We can take a blue card, or we can uh, this is just generally good. Or we can take a slash panther, which uh, is pretty decent. I honestly don't know what the pick here is. And this can go in any deck, so it's probably the Slash Panther. Keep up, keeps our options the most open. It's too bad we didn't go with Blue Route, though. I mean, I suppose we still can. It's flowing pretty well. Uh, this can still go in the Blue deck. So, I guess we can take that.
What is this? Um, okay. okay. Moving on from that, we have a few on six. I think we'll just take the change book cutter or thread seeker. I know the the swine is probably the better pick. I don't know which direction we're going yet, so yeah, I really need one of them. I think another one's gonna be coming in the next two packs. Look at that, we get our swine. That guy's actually really good. Like I said, I thought one was coming. Um. Hmm. We could take this, or we could take the the red dude. Maybe that's just better. Yeah, I like the ogre. This is too liking. Yeah, we should take the red dude. <laughs> Wow, there's a lot of good cards still left. Um, well, since we already have so many infectives, well, we only have three. I think uh, it'd be best to take the, the flyer. I almost took the screen, but this can go into any deck. So, take the card. <laughs> this will draw a card before I. Oh, wow. Hmm. It's interesting to say the least. I mean, we could very well end up playing some red in fact. The blue, in fact, even. Oh, there's the mountain. Two cost sort. Uh, we're only like one card down right now. So. If uh, we decide to go red blue. More zone. Well, this pack doesn't have a whole lot for us, but there is a piston sledge, so it's pretty good on a razor swine or a blighted agent. Wish we had another blighted agent to be honest, but we don't. So more wishful thinking. Uh we have a gust skimmer as well. I think that's a fine pick. Um, there's really not a whole lot for us here. Uh, we don't know whether or not we're playing blue or not. We don't know whether or not we're playing black or not. Um, if we're playing red, we're playing the infect route, probably. It's really split here. I think the the Rager is our best card for black. I think this would just be best though. Or our dude split. And he's a value card. Alright, this looks like String Walker. Not really a whole lot to see. Um, well, could end up black, I think. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the Scourge here. I 
Okay. It's looking like Black Infect might be the way to go, but this guy is also just ridiculous removal. Um, we can still definitely splash the Layer Legion. Probably. Not definitely, though. Um, yeah, Fluster Might is just not that impressive, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with the closer good card. Alright, we can have another one of those or another Piston Sledge. And Piston Sledge is retarded in fact, so I'm just gonna take the Piston Sledge. Um, a six to flip. I guess we can just run up on our things. Oh, this is going to be very good. Let just take a draw stripper. We I don't think it'll be played, but you never know. It's like a red dude. I don't like the signal pest. That's just me though. No, we need to figure out whether we're in fact or not. <laughs> Two razor swines. The it doesn't appear that we are, so if we are not, then the bolt would be best. So we'll see what the next pack entails. It doesn't actually seem that bad in red, in fact. See, I've never actually drafted red, in fact. I think if you're doing red, you have to do, you know, a, a base, in fact, color, so black. Um, black or green. The two razor swines. I think it'd be interesting, that's for sure. So, hiding that. Two of these. I guess we can take that. Our, our deck is just right now um, very very unbalanced we have no direction so we need to find some right now and hopefully the next pack will will tell us what direction to go by opening up a ridiculous bomb rare like well, I don't know or smelter dragon gas Sort of body and mind. Oh, we're not green, in fact. Let's move this a little. Oh, jeez. This pack is like abysmal for us. I mean, there's not a clear direction for us to go with this. On one hand, there's a Contagion Nim, but they don't like first picking that. I don't see any other option, though. Take the Scrap Diver, that isn't right. I think it is this. As we do end up in fact. Okay. Figure rats is pretty good. Uh, I think we're in fact. Plague Stinger? No, no Plague Stinger. But, we do have Trigon of Rage. There's also an Ember Smith, which just won't be very good in our deck because it won't ever get triggers. There's a Christ and Spell Bomb, but I think we need the Trigon before that. And hopefully 
we can get one. Um, let's get the removal. What's the depth consider? And hey, it's foil. What do you know? So I'm glad we got some direction. All right, repeat. That's uh, that's actually really good. Cause we need some two drops and a quartz curve. Looks like we finally caught some direction. Uh, Thunderbird says onto Mike. Well, I doubt we'll be able to splash the Thrumming Bird. I mean, we can do the Glide Agent just because it's unblockable. Um, maybe we won't splash it, maybe we'll splash the onto Mike. Who knows? I'd rather have that anyway. Uh, I guess we can take back the grass. <laughs> we might play it. Probably not. Let's uh, go ahead and cut some cards now. So we're at 22. Playing back cards like back to grass. It might be okay, but we'll see. Waiting on that pack. So, this has definitely been an interesting draft, to say the least. Jeez. So many vector asps. There's a panic spell bomb. All right. Let's, let's just go straight to that building. All right. So we're at that building. So let's go ahead and add the cards. Well, add the cards. Sure, we need another impact creature, I think. We're at 21. Twenty-two. But, well, you'd think, you know, oh, Vector Asp, that sounds so terrible, but... Vector Asp with a Pissing Slip, 23 seems... Be bad too. <laughs> I mean, we need something for our duress to get our our piston sledges to get sacrificed to, right? I don't know. Nope, we didn't put. Blade yeah, I really don't like the uh vector asp. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we don't really have six artifacts sacked to the piston sledge. Really only five because you can't count the piston sledge itself. So
guess you just gotta hope that they don't ever kill it. That seems really bad. But, oh well. I don't do anything about that. I don't like playing him. Nope. Well, it seems okay. Only for attacking. I'd rather just play a Vector as. It's not as bad as you would think it is, but it's pretty bad. Well, maybe I'll just play Rally the Forces. The pseudo removal. I don't have very much removal. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Um, well, it doesn't need like three of those. And I like our curve, but I don't see I want to play play the John Turn 2 all the time. Let's do two. It's 18. Eight. Yeah, they're only double black as the Karats, the uh, Zilot, and the, the Nim is our dismember with paid with life. So, I don't mind that. Seven should be enough to pump these. Let's try this. Uh, we'll figure out some sideboard options later. You know, it's kind of a sideboard out of impact. More blue. No, not more blue actually, but more, more red. More non-effect guys. I think it can be red too. But we're gonna try this. I think we want to play first, but we didn't want to die roll, so we're on the draw. I don't mind the saying this has a necrophile. And you play. We're bound to draw a swamp. And a bunch of mountains is okay with that. So we'll continue this uh, mountain plan. Won't let them know that we're in fact. We'll get in there. Make lit. That's why you don't play your creature first. But we have Corpse Curve. In there. Um, the question is, are we going to be Pumping this out all the way. And I suspect not. At the same time, which would I rather have counter? I think this so I can get it back with the corpse card. Feels to me that he has the the three three flyer, so I'm gonna go ahead and play my panic spell bomb first. So I'm sure that he cannot block. And I can pay one to draw a card. That's also one less in fact. So let's figure this out real quick. One, two, three, four, five. So you'd go to seven. And then I play Corpse Curve. No, I can't play Corpse Curve.
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that three? <clears throat> Attack with this, he's forced to try or block. These four cards. I think the every damage counts in effect. But will it matter if he's at seven or six? Two, four, six. I mean, everything's at two. His necropedes are one. So I'm going to go ahead and infect him. I think that's more important. No way he's attacking. Okay. No. I suppose I'll just play this. That way, if he attacks with it. Uh, this 5-5, five, five. I have a 4-1 to block with it. Definitely no block. Alright, so... And trade off both of these guys. Let's go ahead and attack four with this. Okay. You can double block. Which I suppose is fine. Alright, so we'll play this corpse curve and get back our six one. Because he has a bunch of um, non infect dudes. Or, I'm sorry, 4 1. So we attack. Um, Blocks this may block. Okay, that broke you with. Now, force block that. It's one. Interesting. All right, all right. Maybe going after the neck would have been better. Not sure. Looks like drawing that card was right. Let's 
zero. No. No, this is forced to block. Which would have drew me light edition. Right. Well, we got game one against his blue, black, in fact, tag like ours. Except ours is red and black. So, knowing this, what should we do? Um, I'm not sure. His name doesn't seem very good, so I guess uh, Vector Ask would just be better. It turned out to be okay that game because you had a bunch of 3 3 flyers. No, I'm not going to mold in this hand. I suppose we want to start out with Swamp. Well, we have this guy though. I'm gonna go with that. I'll go with Swamp this time because of uh, this member. Probably has the X1 or the full creature. Uh, no, Verlant Wound, I think is what it's called. Looks like he doesn't know. Did he play something? Yes. Well, that's fine. Hmm. I don't think we're going to be playing, uh, well, I suppose we can get in there for five. We dismember and attack with piston slash. What he does. Three, four lines. Get in there for five. That was a pretty good hit. <laughs> Effectively doing 10 damage to him. Um, he's got to answer with this, so I'm going to go ahead with Goblin. Yeah. We just play that. No, let's just attack for five. See what he commands. So that's fine. Clearly has the 5 5 here. So. Um. I 
What's the option here? Or not the 5-5, five, five, the 3-3. Three, three. Play, just play Corpse Skirt and then equip this and Sledge to ensure that he survives. But we're both at four cards. So let me just attack for three. He blocks. And I Corpse Skirt back. So we'll just card advantage him out. Farm bird. You got it. Another piston sledge. Um, don't know if that's necessary right now. We'll just attack for two and player scourge. Taking it, huh? <sighs> okay, so he just loses, especially now. Poisoned. Alright, got there. Match one is over with. On to match two. Alright, so we won the die roll, so we're definitely going to play first. Oh, that's not a keepable hand. Haha, <laughs> not really was that. <laughs> Blade Master. Which is man, it's more to five. No, we will keep that. We'll go with Mountain first. Okay. I think I didn't have six again. Almost did that. I think. Hmm. Well, I guess I know what I'm doing, right? Now. Doesn't survive, so I'm gonna just do this. Yeah, I think I'm just going to attack. May or may not block. I have a corpse curve to get it back. Oh, crap. That's true. But, whatever. No, I don't want to do that. Probably a bad attack, to be honest. He probably would have attacked and then... Yeah, I don't know. Another one, huh? Well, let's attack for two now. Um, I'm okay with playing that. I'm 
more questions while you are. You would not know which is which still, unless you watch replays. All right, that was for four, in fact. Why would you bother giving it flying? I don't understand, but that's the thing. Ponza does the most of me. So the block this double put down some. <sighs> now the real question is what do I want to do this turn? I think corkscrew back neck would be this would be pretty important, I think. So I can get to a Christian sledge and kill one of the dust skimmers. No pumps. Wow, going to seven. What does he know that I'm actually in fact? <laughs> okay, he could have... Oh, oh, here comes somebody. No. Hmm. So I think the play here, playing with both, may block, block, I like swing both. And um, do that. If he lets the corpse curve in, he win. Let's see. So if we pump, he bounces it and he can't replay it. I think we're forced to pump here. And we'll just play a grass. Interesting. Really strange place. I, I don't understand it at all, to be honest. 
Uh, since he knows about the necropy, so we'll play that. Um, I suspect a Sunblast Angel is coming. I know he has it because I watched it twice. Perhaps not. Maybe I should have equipped the piston sledge to the necropy by equipping a second corkscrew. That would have been okay play, but not really actually, because then it would be a 4 2, so it just blocks this or this and just dies. Just need to get two infected. This is all. You got four mana. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, still waiting on him. Alright, so here comes some blessed angel. Yep. So let's see. What should we do here? We can attack. Maybe we can make some blast students will not be able to block. Right, I don't think you'll be blocking anyway. So make that I'll be able to block. Or we can just play this. You playing this is fine. We want to take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four. So he definitely went back and watched replays to see what I am to see if he shoots on last angel or not, which is fine. Hmm. Okay. Those necropy. So, the only option is to play this and hope that he doesn't block. Oops.
<sighs> but he's going to. Yeah. That stinks. We'll put it on the next two. Mm -hmm. Next, whatever. Got mana screws mold. So that happens. Um yeah, let's submit. Definitely want to play first. No, not more. That takes care of a sunblast angel. Maybe he'll mulligan this time. <sighs> what is he doing? Except eating his own clock. Hmm. His bounce of the Dude should have, his own dude should have told me he had some busting. Then that's the question. What is this telling me though? So I didn't see it. Hmm. I think it's okay to throw the gold in there. Sucks. Uh, the question is do we dismember and then put the butt to the top when I think we're forced to We're winning this race. That's six turns. That's something I can block back. Was it a decent draw? It kills this. Play this. 
Je het raak nou. Dus we laat. Did not see that coming. <sighs> There's a seven. That stinks. Wow. Wow. Come on. I need to draw something real good. Three, four, five, six. Draw something good. It's decent. I need to do three, four, five. Hmm. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. You just gotta get in there. Oops, um, well, shouldn't have done that. Now he plays a big stupid angel and uh, I can't regenerate it. So, um, that's really dumb. Really, really, really dumb. Definitely losing. I mean, maybe not. You might not have it. But you, I mean, even if it did, uh, if I didn't leave that back, most likely wouldn't be able to win anyway. No? Three, four, five. So Um, 
Most likely he's gonna block here and let the two go. And then well, nice just to kill that. And then I take three and I take the two. So I can with both. I don't know if you remember that. <laughs> wow. What a card to this card. Boom. If he does have some blast angel, he generate this. He's forced to block it. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Blister Stick Shaman. The amount of X1s that he has, something like Vector Asp, doesn't seem all that bad. But maybe I just want to block these dudes. So, what seems really bad against him? I don't know. Effectively taking two damage to prevent may it possibly four damage. I don't like that. I'd rather just put in a vector aspect. Why did they jump with it? There's one in our swamp. Maybe. Maybe I'll just be more consistent. Put in one of these. I don't mind that. I mean, I'm gonna have to just kill him as quickly as possible. Um, his hand definitely isn't the best, that's for sure, but I'm not gonna mulligan it. Here we go. Guaranteed drawing land. Well, not. Really hope to draw a two drop. Two drop. I suppose that's fine. And then I can kill. Uh, okay. Huh. Guess I'll play this. This counter spell. Uh, 
Uh -huh. Okay, sure. Okay. It was alive. Ugh, a six four. Seems really good. Don't think right now I can afford to play around is Angel. I'm just going to attack him. I'm going to have a piston sledge online next turn. No, maybe not. I won't do anything. But definitely won't. Who got this guy's on? Two mana from here. I got on. Hmm. Well. I guess I'll trade. No reason to attack with him, most likely. I'm not going to go that way. Wow, took it. Oh. He did take it. Wow. I'm guessing this is best. He plays his angel. This dies. Sword. Red ring from white. Nice. Well, that's black. We got three three. We have to block that. So <laughs> if he puts it on there, he's back with this. Gains life, I lose. <laughs> yeah, tricky, isn't it? You gotta play another creature. Alright, 
Um, two men. I swing both pucks there. Then hmm. what do I do here? As soon as this, he just blocks. So, okay, here's here's the play. You with me? Okay, play Trigon. There's two mana. Pump Trigon. On here. Sack Trigon. Getting that on here. And attacking with both. No, 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 no. Trigunning this. So he's forced to block this. And so he has to double block. Okay. That is the play. He could have a counter spell. Alt order. Okay. In that case, so I just play this. Attack. He's forced to block. He destroys this one cover. Oh my god, why didn't I attack with him? Misclick. I thought I was attacking with him. Wow. Wow, that was so bad. Should not have gave him that extra turn. <laughs> that was so bad. But Whatever. Misclicks happen. Um, wow, that was an intense game. One of the finals. All right, we won the roll, so we're gonna play first. Wow. Um, I don't think this hand does anything, so I'm gonna mulligan it. This hand is slightly better. Not by much, though. I'm give him a hello and good luck. <coughs> As he watches my replay. Alright, so while he was uh, considering his hand and watching my replay, I determined what I'm going to draw. And that is going to be Blighted Agent, right here. And then swap. 
And I piston sledge uh, the blight and agent. And it's going to be awesome. All right, so new plan <laughs> Razor Swine, Piston Sledge. Hopefully he doesn't play something. Just what is he thinking about? Well, hopefully he doesn't play something. Oh well, yeah, you know, hopefully he just passes. I just sledge it, and that's all she wrote. And then I get him for you know five, and then five, and then on to game two. <laughs> What is he deliberating? Is he deliberating killing it? Because he probably should. If he has the option. Okay. Go for broke. Get you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Would have been even better if I had land and then like assault um, strobe. If I draw land and kill his turn four play, there's a blight agent. For the last point of damage. Man. Boom. <laughs> Alright. Game two. We saw one card from him. Um, don't think we cite anything in. We could keep it as it is. So he plays first. And we keep this in the end. This is decent. We got turn two play, we could draw piston sledge. Oh, he's playing the last two. I guess we'll start out with Swamp. Yeah, that sounds good. Why did it take so long? I wonder if he's double queuing. I mean, if I was crushing so many people's dreams, I'd probably double queue. I'm gonna make sure we don't have six past our turn. Oh man. Oh man. Get there. Uh, yeah, we're still gonna do that. Must be nice. Rage. Rage. Huh? No rage? Okay. Debating blocking? Let's 
So he blocks, doesn't play anything. You kill his wall to get in there for four. I'm guessing he's thinking, well, I have a two drop in my hand. So I can always just block it next turn. Do I really want to take four? The phone, of course, is ringing. Okay. So. Uh, he blocked. Then I don't know if you saw that, but he did block. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and play this. Kill his wall. Why does he take so long? Attack for four. Alright, so here's where he plays some dude. Yep. Um Well, we very clearly cannot just attack into that. So, hmm, because then he just double blocks and we don't have anything left. Let's just wait it out. Still don't do anything because you want the necropede to be able to sack something. Bottom. Okay. Nine creature from hmm. Interesting. Alright, well we can go to drawing lands. If he ever attacks with this, he just blocks with my neck now. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, so the best play will be to walk here and here. No. No, that's not right. The best play is to walk here. To eight. I think so. Taking eight and then killing this. This will be able to block that. This is going to kill that. So 
thingy doesn't play. Uh, an artifact. Right. Well. He's going to attack both. The block there. Play this. And then double block there. And we're left with five. And then it's just going to do. Which is that? We take two, four, five, six, seven. We go to two. Another option. So we get eight and go into one. I think double blocking we have to do. Yeah, we're not winning this one. So let's do this game. All right. Rally the forces. I forgot that was even in the deck. Um, I'd rather just have a back vector ass. I think. From the rally of the forces. So let's play first. No. Magnet is pretty good here. Um, I'm going to take three here. I'm going to play this to pump the Necropede up. So he takes four. I'd rather, well, let's see. Play that and pump the necropede, taps the necropede, and he takes three, four. Or he taps this guy and takes. Three and pass. Alternatively, okay, so he takes four, he goes to six, kills this, let's say. And then tap this, goes to seven, big creature, camp block goes to eight. So 
five. Can't feel it for the future. I think this is going to be more important in my hand. But so let's just attack. Yep. That was the exact creature I was thinking was going to play. So. I got upgrade. Wow. So what we do is make this not be able to block. He blocks an FP. Right. Ooh, wow. This is tricky. This can't block. Block's not going to come. No, I shouldn't have played that. So, clear tax. Yep. Tax. Box neck would be. Oops, I didn't pump. That was dumb. Playing like an idiot. <sighs> so you should be at six poison. Light low. Once again, happy wrong. Okay. Guess it doesn't matter. So, red, red, black, in fact, even when I'm playing terrible, gets there. All right. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. It's definitely something to look for in the drafting. I enjoyed it. I. I think it's actually really good. I mean, this guy is just insane. So look out for that.